What's going on guys? Bradley here, back again with another video, and it is the finale, the conclusion of my Android challenge, and today I'm going to be talking about how my experience was overall, what I liked, and if I'm going to be sticking with Android. So let's get it started. So I'm going to be going over three main questions on this video and the first one is how was my experience? It was great. It was wonderful. I was actually super impressed by using Android. It was something different. I think the biggest thing for me is that it was refreshing. It was something new after three years of you of using iOS and it was actually like I needed that. I needed that something new new features, that customization, just it just felt good to use something different and I didn't have any problems really at all. Uh, I did miss my iPhone a little bit, uh, mainly I like the iMessage and you know some aspects of different apps and everything, but overall I really really enjoyed it. So the second main question is how would you compare or how would you summarize iOS versus Android, you know not like a super big definition just like short and sweet I would say Android is for like the super techie enthusiast and he knows exactly or you know or she knows exactly all about the phone they know what they want they know how to get it they can just change anything they want and then that you know that's gonna be their phone they always want to change something they just want to have unlimited customization. If that is you, then Android is definitely the way to go. Um, iOS looks good. I mean, the customization isn't there, but where it lacks customization, it's where it picks up sim simplicity, functionality, ease of use, and it's just it's reliable overall. Like you're just you're always going to be able to get your phone out of your pocket and use it for what you need it for and it's going to look amazing because most app developers make iOS apps look absolutely stunning. So if that's what you want, you just want that reliability and ease of use that you're just going to have to rely on and count on every single day of your life, there you go. Take iOS. So the third main question and that's pretty much the conclusion we've all come to is am I sticking? with Android and the answer is no I'm not I've switched back to my iPhone 6s plus just because like I want to get this out of the way there's nothing wrong with my Nexus 6p I love both phones I love both operating systems it's just I'm like I have grown to love both sides of the ecosystem but I think that I'm just gonna be like switching back and forth every couple months just because I want something new refreshing I like some things over Android that's on iOS and I like some things on Android over iOS so when I want those things back I'll switch to my Nexus and then when I want to use my iPhone I can use my iPhone and when I'm home, if I just want to get out my Nexus and use it for whatever, then I can do that. I don't need to switch my number over that or anything. So, yes, my iPhone is my daily driver again. It's just what I'm used to. I really like the simplicity of it. I just like the reliability also. The camera, you know, you, you're guaranteed to get good photos all the time. You don't have to, like, compose and make sure you're, you know, like, what's focused is in, like, it's... It's crazy how fast you can just take the iPhone camera out and get amazing pictures. Most of my Instagram photos are taken with my iPhone. If you guys want to check them out, the link is down in, this, in the description. But that's why I'm switching back. I guarantee you in like two months, I'm going to be switching back to my Nexus. Just, I like both sides and I'm just going to be switching back. So I'm really not leaning towards one or the other. I'm just using both pretty much at the same time. But what I can tell you is the one major thing that I like over my iPhone and that's the Nexus build quality. The way it feels in your hand, it's bigger than my iPhone as in like, like tallness and whatnot. And I think it might be a little bit thicker but it feels amazing in the hand. The iPhone has those rounded sides and you know the Nexus has the flat sides. And I tell you, that makes a night and day difference. Like 
if I had to pick a phone build quality, like best right now, I wouldn't pick the Galaxy S7. I'd pick the Nexus 6P just because it feels so solid and substantial. It feels like you can hold it. It's not gonna slip out of your hands or anything. And that is great for a big phone like that. So that's gonna be the conclusion of my Android challenge. Uh, a lot of you are gonna be like, well, what videos are you gonna be making next? Because all my videos that are tech related have been about this Android challenge. Well, a lot of people in the comments have been asking for a camera comparison, which I, would love to do that. The cameras are so identical almost. It's pretty, it's crazy. And I'm gonna love like really picking out the fine details of the differences in all different scenarios. And another video that people want are things that I don't like about iOS. I've kind of talked about it a little bit, but not in depth. And trust me, there's a lot of things I really don't like and I think that they should improve on. So I'll definitely make a video of that too. Be nice down there at the comment section because last video there was a lot of hate about me getting my battery capacity numbers wrong, which really my video wasn't titled Nexus 6P and iPhone 6S Plus spec sheet video. Like the point of it was that the Nexus has a bigger battery than the iPhone, but the iPhone gets better battery life. That was the fact that came across. I wasn't trying to be specific about the numbers of the battery capacity. People were like, get your facts straight, uh, bro, and blah, 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 whatever. I'm like, this isn't a video about facts. It's about my opinions of Android versus iOS. So keep it nice in the comment section. If you guys want to see more videos, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.